That's as good a golf shot as I can hit, I reckon. Oh, I don't know, but it's pretty close. Still going. Still going. <laughs> Hi, my name is Paris Murdoch and I'm the head professional here at Dunsborough Lakes Golf Club and today we're going to play 18 holes with me. So this is the par 5 first, 458 metres. Um, this hole does have a fairway bunker about 230 from the tee and water running all down the left. Left myself here with a bit of a slopey lie. Water, water to the left, so I'll probably likely try them at that right green side bunker and just turn it over towards the middle of the green. I'm surprised they got there with that. I've just overshot the green, my second here. It's a tight little, little lie, and I've left myself sort of and a spot where I may need to aim a little bit left of the pin. So we're now into the second hole, which is uh, index two. It's a 396 metre par four. Uh, a lot of time it will play into that southwest wind, which makes it really difficult to get there in two. Didn't enjoy that. Oh, that was a really nice part. So this is the third hole, um, par four. Um, you've got hazard all down your left, which can sometimes be troubling. And then you've got sort of a fairway bunker there at about sort of 190 is the carry. So there's a little bit of trouble here. You just gotta try and find the fairway. It's gonna be an ugly tracer. But it'll do. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've just hit driver down the left edge and just run through the fairway. Uh, and I've left myself about 120 metres into the green to a front pin. Um, the green does slope from back to front, so hopefully I can just knock it past it and spin it back a little bit. Go a little bit. Two in a row. So on the fourth hole here, which is 360 metre par four, um, I've elected to take a three wood, just as it's a uh, bit of a tighter hole, um, and just I'll just try and put myself in play. So I've left myself about 140 metres to the pin. Um, the pin is right at the back and long is almost dead. So I'm just gonna try and hit something sort of just to the middle of the green and give myself a, hopefully look a birdie or a two par par. I look like it land on the green. Getting closer. Getting a lot closer. Oh, I'll take a two putt par. Sort of how I wanted to play the hole. <laughs> so we just got through a tough little stretch of two, three, four, which is some longer um, sort of snaky par fours. And now we get into an easier stretch of five, which is a shorter par three, onto drivable six, and then hopefully uh, make some birdies on seven and eight. Very close. 
Espera. Uh, so now we've got to the six hole, which uh, sometimes if it's downwind can be a drivable par four. Today um, we're, in, we're into a bit of a wind, so I'm actually just going to elect to take an iron off the tee just for a bit of a placement. Uh, positioning, I'm just going to go right of those fairway bunkers there and hopefully leave myself a wedge or something short into the green. I've left myself about 140 metres. Um, I'm just going to have to try and shape a little bit of left to right, sort of fight it against the wind and hopefully give myself a look at birdie. Could be alright. <laughs> about 15 to 20 feet. Um, bit of a slopey green again, this one. It does go from front to back. So hopefully I can just uh, sort of aim it outside the left edge and it'll drift back into the hole. Snap, snap. There we go, oh, that was a nice part. So we're at the seventh hole now, um, which is definitely one of the tougher par threes here at Dunsper Lakes. It's 167 metres to the middle of the green today. Um, there's water all down your left. Uh, some bunkers sort of front left as well, and then you've got a little lake on the right there, so I'll just try and keep it away from those. Yeah, 20 feet once again, it's all uphill, so you should be able to get it in there nice and close. That's heavy. That's really heavy. <laughs> so we're at the eighth hole now, which is a 457 metre uh, par five. Um, probably one of the narrower holes here at Dunsper Lakes. Um, got hazard down the left, um, sort of a um, high tree line down the right. Um, and I'll just sort of try and cut it over the, um, off the left trees and find the middle of the fairway. I'll just be down the left edge, I think. Yeah, that's fine. So I've got three wood. Um, yeah, this green's um, pretty difficult to hit as you've got water down the right, and I like to try and hit a little cut in there. So we'll just hang it out sort of that left green side bunker and hopefully I can get it around the mark. Oh, it just trickled in the green side bunker. Pretty safe spot really, so it's all good. So I found myself here um, in the green side bunker. Um, pretty friendly spot to be honest. Everything is uphill from here. Um, so I can be quite aggressive with a bunker shot. Obviously any further right of this green, uh, you can find yourself in the water. So hopefully I'll be able to just wedge it up there and tap it in. Nah, it's going in the middle. Had enough missing parts. I'm just going to walk this one in. Pretty close to dead straight. <laughs> I caught that on the way down. So this is the uh, ninth hole. It's 354 metres. Um, more of a positioning hole, so I'll try and aim at that sort of yellow flowery Christmas tree down the middle of the fairway. Knock it over that and leave myself sort of a wedge or a 9-9 into the green. Pretty conservative. So I left myself, uh, I got about 175 metres, a lot longer than I'd planned. Um, but it is a bit of a safety net out here. Um, quite wide and open as you can see, there's not a whole lot of trees. Um, it just gives me a good shot of the green, it's a good angle. So go ahead and try and knock it on. Just found the front edge, so pretty safe. Snap, snap. There we go. Nice easy par. 
Uh, so on the 10th hole now, which is a dog leg left, uh, the 10th is 379 metre uh, par four. Um, once again, very similar to nine, a bit of a positioning hole. So I'll just try and knock like a five wood over the left bunker and leave myself a short on him. I'm to get down. Just like I said, that little cut over the bunker left myself about 130 metres into this green. Slopes from left to right, a couple of bunkers at the front, and hopefully I can hit it nice and close and make a birdie. Stay there. That's good. About 10 feet, maybe 15. Never gave it a chance. But it's a nice two putt par. So this is the par three 11th hole. Uh, it's 177 meters, um, pretty difficult par three, probably the toughest on the golf course in my opinion. You got bunkers left and right. Uh, obviously the hole is quite long and a lot of time you are playing into that southwest wind which can make it a lot longer, potentially even for me a four or five iron into the green. Um, we got there, tried middle of green and if we're lucky, hopefully roll a birdie in. So I've just uh, knocked it over this uh, green side bunker here um, and left myself a really tight little tricky spot. Um, I'm just going to hit a little bump seven iron run um, and hopefully I can chase it up there to a, hopefully a tap in and um, walk off with a well earned three. Nice easy three, I'll take that on this hole. So now we're at the long par five 12th, which is 497 meters. Fortunately enough today, we're straight downwind, so hopefully I can hit two goodies and uh, try and get around the front edge or on the green. That's about everything I got. Ooh, we'll be able to knock it on from there. I've left myself <coughs> about 230 metres. Um, it gets quite firm up around the front there, so just try and hit something a little bit higher and um, race up the front edge, really. Let's give it a go. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. Ooh, just over that front bunker. It's pretty solid. That's how you play the 12th hole. <laughs> this is the par five 13th hole here at Dunsmore Lakes Golf Club. It's uh, 465 meters, dog leg to the left off the uh, tee box. Um, hopefully I can just knock it over that corner trees and give myself a good little number into the green. That's the one. Straight over the left trees. Still going, <laughs> still going. <laughs> so I've got about 230 meters into this par five. Um, and I've been inspired by my twin brother, Bryson DeChambeau to go for a driver off the deck. So let's see how it goes. That's as good a golf shot as I can hit, I reckon. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, but it's pretty close. <laughs> well, I've just hit probably the best shot of my life, and I reckon it's going to be pretty close. Look, I'd be pretty happy if it was just on the green, but it was beaming for us. Let's see how close we really are. Yeah, so I've ended up about sort of maybe 15 to 20 feet away, which I'm ecstatic about. Don't need a whole lot of drivers off the deck, so let's try and kick this in for three. Snap. Ah oh, well, nice easy birdie, we'll take that. So now we're at uh, hole number 14, which is a par three, 137 metres. 
Um, very, very tricky for the length of the hole. You've got bunkers left, right, and long. Um, so it's all about just hitting the green, um, which you can, because it's short, but there is danger um, all around the green, so we'll just give it a go. I've got eight on. Yeah, so it's just right edge of the green. Not too bad of a spot. It's out of the bunkers. Hopefully make a birdie. Here's some of the troubles that we spoke about on the tee. You've got a bunker that is about three metres long of the green, which can be very tricky hitting your shot back onto a uh, downhill sort of slopey lie. Um, as you can see, sort of in your surroundings, the green is raised as well. So anytime you do miss the green, you get a lot of runoff. It makes it a lot harder to get up and down. Oh, steady three. We're at uh, hole 15, which is index three for us here at Dunsville Lakes. Um, 463 metres, water left, water right, water short, um, bunkers on the fairway, a lot of green side and a really big slopey green. So hopefully you can try and get through all that and maybe even make a birdie. It's perfect. Good to go. Drifts a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, that was really close to being perfect. Just sort of jumped off left edge and rolled to short of the green, but I'll take it. So with this here, it's pretty friendly spot. I've got this bowly sort of section here, so I'm gonna try and just race it up the bank here and hopefully get it feeding back towards the hole. Perfect. There you go, nice easy birdie on 15. So we're at the par four, 16th hole now. Um, 16 can be a very tricky hole, especially if you're having a good round. You've got 16, 17, 18, which are all difficult, have a lot of water down the right-hand side. So what I'm gonna do here is aim at that fairway bunker in the distance. Um, you know, your average golfer, just sort of right-handed, we hit a little slice, so it's perfect little target for them to aim at. be fine. Just cut down right down the left edge. Sit down. So we're now onto the 17th hole, which is a par three, uh, 154 meters. Um, some of that water and hazard from 16 does follow this green sort of around the right. It's not really in play unless you hit a real bad one, um, but there is a bunker also, which is the front sort of right spot. Uh, only no noticeable spots not to miss is probably long left, uh, makes it a really tricky chip um, onto that down slope. So we'll try and avoid that area and get it nice and close. That was nice. As you can see, it's very slopey through this section of the grain. It was a little bit of a misread, but I need these little testers for par to keep you honest. So we're at the 18th hole here at Dunsborough Lakes Golf Club, which is our index one, which is definitely our hardest hole, 422 metres. Um, water, obviously all down the right, which is carried on from 16 and 17. Um, and for me, 
very much similar to 16. I'll try to cut it off that left fairway bunker um, and just hit it as hard as I can. That one's perfect. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, I think it's gone so long. Just overshot me second here on 18 with a really nice four iron in. Um, obviously, it's starting to get to summer now. It's getting real firm around the green, so you just gotta be a bit mindful of your club selection. Just got a little bit long. Hopefully, just land it just on the green by a couple of feet. Let release out and um, yeah, just see how it turns out. Not too bad, probably five feet. Oh, well, it's a shame to bogey the last, but all in all, it was a good round of golf. I was really happy with the round and the way the course was presented. Uh, we hope to see you all soon down here at Dunstable H Golf Club.